what you've seen this game so far is pretty impressive. What are your thoughts so far about what the team is right now? Yeah, the team, you know, they, they just play hard and they compete. And, you know, we're scoring points, but we're getting stops, and that allows us to score points. Um, and then I just think, offensively, guys are playing inside their roles. You know, guys, they, they understand who they are. You know, like Patrick Patterson, when we got him, we told him, you're a shooter. You don't need to be a driver. You don't need to be anything else. Just shoot the ball. Uh, and, and I think giving them that freedom to do that has really helped his confidence and helped his stroke. Uh, you know, Kawhi today was the playmaker. You know, they, they committed double teams soon. It just shows the trust that he has in his teammates, which, you know, in two games, uh, you love that. Uh, so, you know, a lot of guys are doing a lot of good things. But Don, obviously the talent is absolute for itself, but as far as development, yeah. trust, what do you notice this summer in early in training camp that really helps a little bit? You know, just we continue to harp on it. Uh, we, we gave each guy freedom inside his role, you know. Uh, and I think guys feel good about it. You know, the first, I think the first thing is each guy, you know, we talk about each guy's role, and I think they like their role. And so that, that, that helps, you know. And then when you give them freedom to do whatever they can and do whatever they want to do inside that, you know, that gives them freedom to play. Um, and then I just think the unselfishness, you know, that probably started, you know, the guys came in, you know, three or four weeks before camp started, uh, play pickup games. Uh, you know, they talk about it, they talk about them and the you know, The way the ball was moving tonight just shows when you're bad and guys make shots and it's making us the beat. You, know, you, you can be pretty special. Talk about Kawhi's playmaking. Is that something that surprised you a little bit? Yeah, you know, I, I thought he started doing it in, this, in the, about the second round last year. You know, in the first round, he was just dominating. And I thought that each round went on, he started playmaking more and more. Um, but what he's doing with us is, is even another level. So you can tell that is something that he's focused on over the summer uh, to be a better playmaker. Uh, he's making his passing numbers on the league. I feel like you guys did to tighten up the turnovers that were leaving so many fast break points the other way. We just stopped turning it over. <laughs> we stopped <laughs> forcing it. I mean, really, I thought we were forcing it. We run passes. Uh, and then once we took care of the ball, we were pretty great. Does that ide ideology of defining the player's role come from you being a player yourself? Does that help in that you know, aspect? I don't know if it helps or not. It just, uh, I, I have a belief what each guy can do. Uh, it's our job to sell to them what we believe in them. And then it's their job to, to trust it and, and, and allow it to happen. I think each guy's been doing that. We still have one to do it, uh, but I think each guy is starting to buy into it. Have you had any difficulties trying to sell that? It doesn't yeah, look like not it. with this group, but I've yeah. had in the past for okay. sure. Okay. It was very important for, for me <laughs> to get him. I, I really wanted him to, to do well tonight um, uh, because this is the place he lost his match. And now tonight, there were times that it was probably time for Tres to come in and we kept to him because he was playing so well. So uh, that was good. Really good. Really happy for him. Yeah, just being 2-0. and oh. I mean, we can play better, uh, obviously. You know, I don't know if we can shoot better than tonight ever. You know, if we do, we're going to be really good. Uh, but there's things, clearly, we, we, we're going to have to get better. Uh, but when you looked at the schedule, and someone told you before it happened, you would be 2-0 oh after it, you would obviously sign up for it. So, yeah, I'm thrilled. Yeah, people are starting to see Yeah, I think they are. I think, you know, it's funny. The narrative out there was that, you know, he can score, he can do a lot of things, but they didn't know about his playmaking. I think over the last two games, he's pretty much answered those questions. Doc, I know you don't win two games on paper, but how good can your team be? It looks like you guys have a really stacked roster. Yeah, we're deep, you know, uh, we get along, and they're cooperative. Um, you know, one of our best players is sitting in the street zone still. Um, so clearly, we're going to get better when the ball comes back. Uh, but we can't wait either. We have to we win the West. We gotta win games. We gotta win every. You gotta squeeze every game out you can get. Come back to you. Did you notice him doing anything different? No, he's just in better shape. <laughs> Number one. And listen, going through that experience was a good experience for him. Bad experience was a good experience. You know, you, you learn from them and you move on. I think you did. All right, guys. Go to dinner.